Babe, Haba, are you just going to leave like that without having breakfast? Actually, I, I thought that I'd um, pick something up later. Come on, babe. I made breakfast already. Please just have some for my sake. Okay. Thank you. What is it, Denke? You've been staring at me since we woke up this morning. Is everything all right? Babe, can I be honest with you? Mm -hmm. I have been having this, this feeling this feeling of disconnect between you and I is, it's almost like you don't even see me. Like you don't care about me anymore. How do you mean? For one, you don't touch me. Before the pregnancy, we used to laugh, play, and make jokes into the night, but now it's just been a smile here and there. Also, I had an appointment today at the hospital for antenatal by 3 p.m. You don't know anything about that. You don't even care. You were just about to up and leave without telling me I am your wife. They didn't care. I'm sorry. I didn't realize I'd been shirking in my responsibilities. But you sort of knew what you were getting into when you married a man of God. And um, as a shepherd, if any member of my flock goes missing, was lost, I have to go after them. I have to find them and bring them home. First of all, this morning, I have a meeting with the church's lawyer, Barrister Francis, who has been a tremendous blessing to our congregation. I have to appreciate you for linking us up. I mean, we couldn't have asked for a better legal counsel for our church. So, thank you. We thank God. Second, I have to go to the hospital to see a brother of ours who is being discharged today. He's been struggling with suicide and depression. Uh, I and some brethren have to go there, take him home, and counsel him. But I am also a member of your flock. I should be the main priority here. Okay, okay. I will, I will consider what you've said. And I will make amends. What time is your appointment today? 3 p.m. I will call you at that time. 
and we will talk. Okay? So, who's calling? David. Hello, David. How are you? Hey, I'm good, bros. Good morning. Is everything okay? Everything they pure. Uh, big bro, no vex. So I just want to ask you one small favor like this. I just want, I want to talk to your wife. I was trying to call her, but it's not going through. Oh, you're in luck. Uh, a few more minutes, I would have been out of the house. But uh, she's here. David. Hmm? David. Oh. Yes. Hi, David. <laughs> Hi, Nikke. Um, I, I, I was calling your phone, but it was saying that it was switched off. Is everything okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Good. Okay. Shh, I have to go. Okay. Have a great day. Thank you. This your hot body must shall be sustained. Yeah, so what's up? My dear, I'm just there. Just so confused, I don't know. Hello, Shada, what's the matter? I found some condoms and a dildo in Pastor's bag this morning. Uh, where is Pastor? He has stepped out. He went to see one of the brothers from the church. And he just left the bag carelessly like that? Oh, no. I found the key to the padlock to the bag. Oh. Well, I hope you didn't touch the dildo or condom or do anything to them. I left everything exactly the way I saw it. But I took some pictures. I don't know, I'm just, I'm just so confused. Well, maybe there's a sister in church who needs divine help and the pastor is being used as a vessel to help her. Must everything be a joke to you? Can't you be serious for once? Okay, okay. You know, on a serious note, if you ask me, I'd say you have two options, okay? The first option is to confront him head on when he gets home. You're pregnant, so he can't do anything to you. The second option is to wait when he gets comfortable in front of him. Believe me, you would understand that the cat or dildo or condom is out of the bag, literally. <sighs> but I'd say you should opt for option two. 
And knowing the pastor, I think he would prefer dialogue rather than aggression. Oh, yeah, Missy, my heart is so heavy. I know, I know, my friend, and I'm so sorry. But it's best to find out from the source rather than jump to conclusions. I know the pastor is not like that, so jumping to conclusions will be disastrous. Anyways, no problem. I guess I'll just update you. Okay. And remember the baby doesn't need drama or... Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Take care. Thank you. How was your day? Um, it was uh, pretty tiring, but um, we thank God. Good. We thank God. How did the sheep that you went to find? I hope she's doing better now. <laughs> it's not a she. It's a he. And he's good. He's with friends and family now, so he has support. Oh, my bad. I'm so sorry. You see, the pregnancy is actually giving me memory loss. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Would you like anything to eat? I, I, actually, no, thank you. I'm not hungry. Besides, it's, it's too late to eat now. Oh, come on, babe. I made you fruit salad. Come on, just try some for my sake, please. Before you say that I am neglecting you, um, I will eat. But, but may I freshen up first? Sure. Thank you. Is it that didn't care? You've been staring at me. You're actually making me uncomfortable. Is there a problem again? Are you expecting someone? Pastor George in. Uh, who are you? Move. Who's? Set. Pastor, do not make any sudden movement because I won't hesitate to shoot you or your wife. Now sit. Sit! Quite a lovely apartment you have here. It's 
Do you use the tithe and offering from your congregation for this? Joma, <sighs> please. What do you want? Do you also use the tithe and offering from your congregation to seduce people into having sex with you? Look, young man, please, just tell me what you want. If it's money, just name your price. But I'm pleading with you. My wife is pregnant. She's very fragile. <laughs> Pastor, now what for you? Since I come here and I'm money, money, you just they talk with you. Since now everybody, you feel by the way you buy Daniel, eh? What's he talking about? Who is Daniel? Such a pity you have such a beautiful wife. Daniel is my boyfriend who your husband has been sleeping with. Excuse me? <laughs> Take. Don't be scared. Take. Take it! Now you go ahead, take it all in, like your husband took my boyfriend the whole seven inches. What have you gained from all this? What have you achieved? <laughs> well, couldn't you have handled this in a better way? Wait, do, do you think you're doing God's work? Shut up! I said, shut the f up! And I always knew Daniel was cheating on me, but I never knew with whom. I haven't seen the two of you together, but of course, the pastor brand blinded me. So I put the camera in the room, and lo and behold, it was your husband that was sucking my boyfriend off like a lollipop, and now you're opening your dirty mouth to talk about God. Take your time. Take your time. I'm sorry. Hey. I'm not here to kill you or your wife. But if I ever see you close to Daniel again, I'll shoot your thing! <laughs> my phone. Get my phone! Ma'am? To have a lovely evening. It's calm. I'm leaving. It's too late to go anywhere. I don't mean I'm leaving now. I am leaving you. I want a divorce. I want a divorce and I'm going to take everything. I'm going to take everything that you own. Enke, I made a mistake. I fell into a temptation. We can fix this. What stupid temptation, huh? So you're going to call sleeping with a man temptation. You're crazy. You are sick. You see, God knows that I wish the lubricants, the condoms, I wish you used them on another woman. Stupid.
We all have skeletons in our cupboard. What are you talking about? We all have skeletons in our closet. Well, I don't care about your stupid skeletons. I am done with you, George. Done. I'm sterile, Jenica. What? I can't have children. So, whatever it is you're carrying inside your womb, it's not my child. So, like I said, mm -hmm. Nika and I are going for the party. You will not be there, officer, but your wallet will make an appearance. I know what you see, man, did you? That's all. You know how I am. Officer, please. Uh, all right, I need to go to the loo. Mm -hmm. Unless you want to do something before I go. Oh, you know I always want to do something. Wait, come on. Wait, come on. You don't want to ask. Come on. <laughs> oh, actually. Yeah, actually, I'll need to be leaving as well. Okay. Mm. Sister B, how far now? What is it? You know my work and you're, 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 you're disturbing my phone. What is the problem? Hey, hey, hey please don't, don't, don't shout to my head there. Is it the first time she's giving birth? When she gave birth the first time, was I there? When she gave birth the second time, was I there? Even the third, fourth, fifth, she gave birth. Was I there? She didn't she deliver? So why is this one such a big deal? Look, sister B, don't worry. Everything will be okay. Okay? I mean, she go burn this picking, everything they say. There's, there's nothing to worry about. And very soon, I'll be coming off work and uh, I'll come over there. I'm just waiting for the next officer to take over. Okay, I'll be there. Officer, officer, would you like some breakfast before you go to work? Hmm? I've been a bad girl. <laughs> Arrest me. Papi. Papi. Hey, what's wrong, baby? Are you okay? 
is there something you'd like to tell me? No, there's nothing I'd like to tell you. What's, what's going on? What's happening? I got the feeling that you've been inviting men to this house and sleeping with them. This house that I paid the rent for. Eh, hey, eh, hey, hello, Dino. Shokosi. Now wait for you rental. No say you buy house. Your mates when they buy house for their side chick, they get two eggs. Which level? I'm sorry. Calm hey, John, you're locked. Close Shelly. Keep on Shelly. Calm down. I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I just wanted to be sure, okay? I don't know what I was thinking. Come here. Please, come here. I said I'm sorry. Come. Please. I'm sorry. Papi. Oh. I will never cheat on you. You've done so much for me. Look at this beautiful house that you rented for me as you like reminding me. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. <clears throat> I know you wouldn't cheat on me. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> well, you do know, though, if I ever caught you with another man. <laughs> I will take this gun here. <laughs> and I will splatter your brain over this wall. Do you understand? I understand, officer. That's my problem with you. You like to play too much of that. <laughs> okay, so um, I won't be able to make it here on Friday. My oh. wife is delivering. I think I want to spend a day or two with them. So <clears throat> they don't see me as a bad guy. Oh, such a good husband and a wonderful mm. father. Mm. Mm. Tell my madam I said hi. <laughs> okay, look. I'll make a transfer to you in that's my favorite word. Say transfer again. Oh, leave me alone. Officer, no, no. say transfer. I need to go with transfer, transfer, Officer. transfer. Officer. Eh, come on, transfer some things to me before eh, you go. Eh, yeah, later, later. <laughs> Don't arrest anyone, though. No. Later, baby. Bye. Hey, MC? Yeah, I'm, I'm at the gate. Okay. Right. Hey. Hey. I'm good. So please, take it easy on me, because the way you were threatening me over the phone, I, I was afraid. Well, you know what they say, no pain, no gain. I'm actually very serious, I'm not feeling too good. Okay, fine, we'll do some light exercises. That's what I like to hear. Ah, okay, but first, do you mind if I record this for um, YouTube? Oh, that's fine, as long as I look pretty in your videos. Ah, there you go. All right. So should I stretch? Or yeah, get the blood flowing, get it nice and set up. Yeah, hello. What are you doing now? Hello, Gardino. I did find you. I'm okay. I'm okay. Um, I just got information about a Yahoo boy who's going to rape a girl in her house. Since I'm around the neighborhood, I'm going to handle it. But I need you to send back up. We are now. Update me as they go. Yeah, I will. I will. I'll, uh, I'll send you address as soon as I go in. Okay, later.
All right, come on, let's go. Come on, come on, we have three more. I can't, I can't. Yes, you can. Tired. Come on, come on, let's go. Lift it up, let's go, let's go. Three more. Touch my knee. There you go. There you go, you need to touch my hand. Two. Come on. There you go, there you go. Now, other side, let's go, let's go. Over there, come on, come on, come on. Ten on the side, ten on the side. All right, let's go. Ten, there you go. Nine, there you go. My face, can I, can I, can I take this? All right, fine, take a quick break. Quick break. Yes, quick break. Oh, thank God. <sighs> Hello. Hello? Yamisi, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm, I'm working out. This is your hot body. You must sustain it, Sha. Yeah, so it must be. Babes, how far? Hmm. My sister, I'm just alright, too. It's just that I'm confused. I don't know what's going on. Kilo Shale, what's the matter? And uh, where, where is Pastor? He stepped out. He went to church to see one of the brothers. And he just left the bag carelessly like that? No, no, no. I found a key to the padlock to the bag. Oh, okay, well, I hope you didn't, you know, t touch the dildo or the condom or do anything to them. I left everything just exactly the way I saw it. But I took some pictures. Babe, I'm just confused. Maybe there's a sister that needs divine help and the pastor is being used as a vessel to help her. What's wrong with you? Is everything a joke? Okay, okay. On a serious note, if you ask me, I'll say you have two options. The first option is to confront him head on when he gets home. You're pregnant, he can't, he can't do anything to you. Second option is for you to wait for him to get comfortable while eating and then you drop the keys in front of him. Believe me, you understand that the cat or dildo or condoms is out of the bag, literally. I don't know, Yemi yeah, see. My heart is just so heavy. I know, I know, my friend, and I'm so sorry. But it's best to find out from the source rather than jump to conclusions. I know the pastor is not like that. So jumping to conclusions will be disastrous. Anyways, no problem. I guess I'll just update you. Okay. And remember the baby doesn't need drama or Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Take care. Thank you. Wonders shall never end. My friend just called me now that she saw a dildo and some condoms in her husband's bag. Oh, wow. Well, I guess we, um, <clears throat> we live in a very funny world. Yeah, what's funnier is this person's husband is a pastor of a very big church. I guess you've heard the saying, by their fruits, you shall know them. You have jokes. Um, sorry. Ooh. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. I just... <sighs> Hope no problem. Um, no, it's just, um, my sister. You know, she's been having a tough time with her husband lately. Uh, he's a doctor, but he's been hooked on cocaine. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. Yeah, and, um, she's been trying to help him for a couple of months now, and, um, unfortunately, a patient at his hospital died, and they think he's responsible, so there's a big investigation, and he's been suspended, and, uh, she had to leave. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You know, I really don't understand why people get into relationships nowadays. They're so toxic. Well, not all relationships are toxic. True. Okay, take for instance the driver that dropped me off today. So he tells me a crazy story, right? He's engaged, but he has another woman pregnant. And this girl is his brother's wife. 
<laughs> exactly. that, that's a lot. I know, right? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. This is just how I didn't know. Come. No, 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 no. Stop playing. Stop no, playing. Come here. Come here. No, no, no. We said. I can't. Move. Yes, you can. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm in CVP. We have, we have seven more. Seven more reps to go, then we stretch. Okay, you, okay, you, you know what? Let me just. Let me. Set it up. We'll do burpees, okay? Burpees! Yes, right. Talented! How many? Let's go. We're doing 10. Let's go. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. There you go. You need a good stretch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, huh? uh, oh, yes, yes. Oh. Hey, 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 what's this? Think about it. New down there. No, 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 Namdi. Namdi! I am not just your wife. I am also a police officer. And I will not let you or your habits jeopardize our lives. Jeopardize my life and my career. I'll get your help. Before you hurt yourself or someone else.
Mama, good morning. Adane, how are you? I'm fine. Very good. Have you gone to see your husband? I just got to Namdi's house, but I'm not here to see him. I'm here to get my things and leave. I just got here, actually. I'm still in the car. My daughter, so air is human. People can change. Are you saying you won't even consider what I told you about Rico? Mama, do you want a living daughter or a dead one? What if Namdi gets to her one day and decides to kill me? What would you do? On your chore? God forbid. It's not your passion, my daughter. Mama, as an officer, what do you think my colleagues would say if they heard that my husband was using her drugs in the house? I'm, I'm done with this marriage, Mama. I've tried to help Namdi and I'm not doing it again. Mom, is he also? Mom, if I say I don't understand you, I'll be lying. But according to our tradition, you know a woman stays with her husband through thick and thin. You know all I went through with you, you know? Mama, right? I'm done with this conversation, please. I can't talk about this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Sorry, so we'll talk later then. your favorites. Just hit the search button, enter the first few letters of a title, and will instantly show you matching results. You can type in letters used
Namdi, what more do you want from me? I've tried to help you repeatedly, but you don't seem to see the error of your ways. Babe. Babe. This is all I know to do. And they want to collect it from me. They want to crucify me. If you clean up and get your act straight, you can have your life back together. <laughs> There's no hope. Namdi, you're still alive. When there's life, there is hope. You need to get help. Babe, all, all I've ever dreamt of being was a doctor. It's all I ever wanted. And you can still be one. Uh -huh. You just need to dump this habit of yours. This is how I cope. Babe, please. Babe, believe me. It's. Babe, if I. If I go ask for help. And the Board of Trustees find out. They will confirm that I am addicted. And I can revoke my license. I can lose everything. You're already destroying yourself. You're on the verge of losing everything you've worked for. People put their lives in your hands and look. When are you going to accept this for what it is? That you're a junkie and you need to get help. Well, please. Nobody can know about this. You, 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 you can't tell anybody. I will get help. Okay? Once... Once, once the investigation is over and I'm clear, I promise you I promise you, I will. Namdi, Namdi, I am not just your wife. I am a police officer, and I will not let you or your habits jeopardize our lives, my life, and my career. I'll get you help. Before you hurt yourself or someone else.
Hey, I'm good, bros. Good morning. Is everything okay? Uh, everything's pure. Hey, bros, I beg no vaccine. I just want to ask you one favor. I want to talk to your wife. I was trying to call her, but it's not going through. Oh, well, you're in luck. In a few more minutes, I would have been out of the house. Dave. Hello? I've been trying to call you, but it's been saying that your phone was switched off. My phone was off last night. I, 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 I'm, I'm, so, I'm sorry, I didn't care. I have a lot on my mind and I need to let it all out. What is going on? I, I, I gave my life to Christ recently. David, what is this? I, I had a, a very vivid dream yesterday night. And it made me realize that I have to make some restitutions for my misdeeds. If not, my future wife and I won't be happy. I have to come clean to my brother about us. Do you know that this is going to affect us both? Yes, I know. And so you think the best way to go about this is to break my marriage and destroy my life? Oh, oh, oh. come on, Nikkei. Stop playing the victim. What about me? Exactly. What about you? Think about your life, your fiancé. Look, I've already, I've already thought about all of that and I'm going to do what I need to do. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on. Um, how about we meet up? Let us see. I'll just text your address where we can meet by about 2 o'clock. Is that fine? <sighs> okay, okay. I'll see you at 2. All right. Thank you. Hello, you, you ordered for a ride. Are you David, yes? Yes, I am, sir. Yes, yes, of If I ask you a personal question. Um, oh sure, no problem. Go ahead. No vex. It's a question that borders on faith, you know, religion, restitution, that kind of thing. Uh, recently, I, I I just became born again. Oh, that's awesome. I'm, I'm a Christian myself. I'm a man of faith. Great, great. So. My brother and his wife, they've been married for about three, no, three and a half years. And my sister-in-law, she's even pregnant. I mean myself, I'm engaged to be married. Yeah. We were born into a Christian home. You know, my brother even owns a church. He's a pastor. For me, I didn't really send religion like that, Sha. Yeah. Until recently, I met Jesus through my fiancé, through my fiancé. And now me, I'm saved. That's awesome. mm -hmm. So, what exactly is the problem? Are you second guessing your salvation? Are you having second thoughts? What's going on? My brother. <sighs> the matter, I know be small matter, or make I no lie you. Ah. The. The. Picking with my sis, sister in law, Bele. Yeah. Let me get 
Wow. Uh, okay. Um, see, um, recently I, 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 I still having some dreams, but they, they, they seem like, like visions. And I know that it's time for me to just come out and just tell my brother. But see the thing is, I don't want to destroy anybody's home, anybody's marriage. And you know that divorce is a sin. But, ah, I like this kind of experience. I guess it'd be Jerry. Listen, if I'm being completely honest, I, I can tell you that I understand your pain. It's deep. But I don't know that I'm honestly in the best position to give you any advice. But, if I was to give you any advice, I would tell you to come clean. Now, I know that it probably will hurt your brother and it might damage your relationship, but I really think it's the best thing to do. Bros, thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate your time. The thing is, my sister-in-law and I, we agreed that we will not see Pim about this thing yeah. at all. And the thing is, not as if she's even holding me responsible for the pregnancy. Because she said that she's going to give it to my brother as if it's his own. I mean, if I'm being completely honest, my first instinct was to tell you, keep the secret. I mean, after all, it's not like you're a stranger, you're his brother. So that means that the child, both of you will share the same DNA. You know, but to avoid any future mess, I also think you should just face the music now. Bro, thank you. Thank I appreciate. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. Are you okay? Do I, should I change the radio? No, oh, I'm fine. Yes, bro. Side. Is this one, Abby? Yes, it is. Okay. It's a car trip. Yes, it is. Thank you. Okay. Please, oh, don't forget to rate me five stars. <laughs> sure. Thank you, eh? Bye bye. Chilolo, African Chiquito number one. That's me. That's me. Yeah, that's me. I'm on the corridor. See me. <laughs> Half an hour. I'm fine. I'm good. Man, I've just been buried in work since 7 a.m. You won't believe it. And this day I invest... This, this day I investigation that they're doing in this hospital is driving me insane. Hey, yeah. Uh, Ndo, Ndo. 
But wait, which which investigation is this one again? I told you now. One of our top doctors is suspected to have had a drug-related malpractice issue, something like that, you know. Okay, 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 okay. I remember, I remember, I remember. So, there's a lot going on here. Serious. Boo-boo. Ta! What is this? What do you want? Please come and pick me up today by 4 p.m. I didn't drive. Yeah, it's okay. No, no Allah. I'll see you. All right. Yeah. Okay, um, thanks, babe. Thanks, babe. I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye. Bye-bye. Bless you, Brother David. How are you, sir? Hello, sir. I'm, I'm fine, thank you, sir. Hope no problem. Hope everything is fine. <sighs> yes, sir, I, I, I was wondering if I could come over very briefly for a, a counseling session, if you are free, sir. Of course. I'm at the church. Okay. I, 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 can, I can stop by now. Yes, you can. Okay, thank you, sir. I'll see you soon. All right. God bless you. The vision is real, bro, David. You know, as a mere mortal, your first instinct would have been to let sleeping dogs lie. But the Holy Spirit in you has convicted you. You are now a new creature. All things has passed away. Bro, David, you have to confess to your brother and your fiance. That's the only restitution you can pay. You know, if you only had an affair and it didn't lead to pregnancy, I would have said even as a man of God, move on and sin no more. Let whoever has never committed sin cast the first stone. But as it is, you can't let, you can't just sweep it under the rug. My beloved, you have to pray for God's guidance. You have to pray for God to direct you and speak to you because the path of the righteous is like a shining light. First, you have to confess to your fiancé. She might just be the catalyst to a good or bad future with your brother and your sister-in-law. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you. Thank you too. God bless you. God bless you and thanks for coming. Shall we have a word? Yes, sir. Pray. I need you to say those words after me. Okay. Oh Lord my God. Oh Lord my God. Great is thy faithfulness, O oh God, my Father. There is no shadow of turning with thee. Thou change it not, thy compassion they fail not. Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I'll be with you in, in, in less than two minutes. Uh, okay. Okay, bye.
Okay, ma. Yes, yes, ma. I'll bring it. But, ma, you know technically you're off your prescription. You, you're not so... Okay, but this, this is the last time. Ma, if anybody found out I was doing... Yes. Okay. Can you, can you just please promise me that you will not exceed the prescription? I beg you, it's a very dangerous drug. Okay. All right, now I'll bring it by later. So, turns out that doctor I told you about, mm -hmm. Dr. Namdi, mm -hmm. he's going to jail. There's no dodging it. I mean, the evidence is overwhelming. It's, but it's so sad because I'm friends with his wife, oh. She's a very pretty, lovely police officer. If you see her in her uniform, eh? <laughs> <laughs> he also wants to be an officer. Just that so far, it's been proven that he has killed five patients during surgery and under the influence of hard drugs, and there might even be more. It's just so sad because he's a brilliant doctor, mm. very brilliant. <laughs> why, why aren't we moving? Because I wanted to listen to you without any interruption. Don't you want to come in? I think I need to go see my brother. Okay, I just, I just thought we were going to stay over tonight. You know, it's been a while since you did. At least I'll have someone to talk to. Babe, I, 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 I need to talk to you. Okay, babe, you're stuttering. That means there's a problem. I've not been... Uh, entirely truthful with you and I, 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 I'm really sorry. Hey, what do you... I, 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 I'm really, really sorry. What do you mean being entirely truthful? I had an affair with Nike. Who's Nike? We have been together for two years now, David. Two years. And in that time, you were sleeping with another woman. Your brother's wife. Your, your brother's wife! Your, your brother's wife! Your brother's wife, Adenike! Adenike! Really? Oh my God, I feel like a fool. <laughs> Please, li li listen to me. Please, I I I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look, I I'll change. I promise. There's no words whatsoever. But 
Give me another chance. I'll, I'll do better. You, you, you never, ever, ever. Are you responsible for her pregnancy? I can't, I can't do this anymore. I, I, I just Chewie, can't deal with this anymore. Chewie, Chewie, please. I, I can't do this. I, I, I'm sorry, I'm begging you. Please, please. David, please, please. No, please. No. please. I just want to be left alone now. Just leave. Hello, Ma. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no. No, I haven't forgotten. No, um, I just... I'll... I'll bring it by... Yes, I'll, I'll, I'll bring it by. Let, I have to go now. Please. She's here. David. Hmm? David. Hi. <laughs> hi, David. Hi, hi, hi Dinke. I, I've been trying to call you, but it's been saying that your phone was switched off. My phone was off last night. I, 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 I'm, 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 so, I'm sorry, Adinike. I, I have a lot on my mind and I need to let it all out. What is going on? I, I, gave, I gave my life to Christ recently. And I, I had a, a very vivid dream yesterday night. And it made me realize that I have to make some restitutions for my misdeeds. If not, my future wife and I won't be happy. I have to come clean to my brother about us. I hope you know that this is going to affect us both. Look, I've made up my mind. I just wanted to tell you before I do what I need to do. And you think that Jesus would want you to break my home and destroy my life? Oh, oh, oh. come on, Nike. Stop playing the victim. What about me? Exactly my point. 
The more reason why you have to think of yourself. Think about your fiancé. Look, I've already, I've already talked about all of that and I'm going to do what I need to do. Okay, you know what? Uh, can we meet up somewhere? I'll send you an address, say 2 p.m. Is that fine? Oh, oh, okay, okay. I'll see you at 2. Fine, I'm waiting, please. Hi, David. Hi. Look, Nikke, I, Nikke, I'm really sorry that it has come to this, but I, I, I can't move forward with my life. Not with this thing weighing so hard on my chest. What burden are you talking about? I mean, I haven't asked you to take responsibilities for anything. So what are you talking about? The burden of my unborn child and my brother's wife. Look, Nikki, I know we promised that we'll just move on and let sleeping dogs lie, but I can't. I have to tell George, and I plan on telling Chinwe. Well, you're not going to say anything. Well, the baby I'm carrying is not yours. What? The baby I'm carrying is not yours. Oh, don't judge me. I am not a slut. I didn't say that you were. Well, your eyes are screaming at me. No. Wait, wait. Let me understand something. For four months, you told me that the baby that was growing inside you was mine. And then now that I decided to tell my brother, your husband, suddenly, magically, the baby is not, is, is not mine anymore. Pastor has been cheating on me. You see, my marriage is on the brink right now. When did you find this? Today while I was cleaning. 
you say I am in a very bad state right now. Whose baby is it? Allow me to deal with that. Well, it's not yours. And that is all you need to know. Fair enough. But I plan to tell Chingwe about our affair tonight. And I suggest that you get your house in order and speak to George or whoever owns this baby. Thank you. I'll handle it. What is the problem? I have sent you several messages. You're not responding. And I have called you over a million times. You're not even taking your calls. Nike, I have been busy. Look, I've been in a meeting since with your husband. And then after then, I had a meeting with the partners in the chambers. I'm just stepping out. What's up? What's happening? Everything is the matter, Francis. Everything. Um, can you talk? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. What's going on? Good. So I would like to know, what are my options if I plan to leave Pastor? Leave as in divorce? Yes. <laughs> on what grounds? Fidelity. Infidelity. Infi... Are you kidding me? Okay, you see, I don't know but shit is about to go down. And you just might be going down with this. Whoa. What, what do you mean? I'm talking about the baby. What baby? Are you okay? Your baby? Our baby, Francis. Okay, Nike, what is going on? Talk to me. So David suddenly becomes born again and now he's about to start singing like a fucking choir boy. We have to be miles ahead of this thing. We need to be prepared, Francis. So I need to know, I'm going to ask you again. What are my options if I plan to leave Pastor? Look. Without a proof for infidelity, fraud, domestic violence and the likes of it is definitely an empty basket for you and this one david is about to release an album your ba our baby would definitely be found out okay i found condoms dildos in pastor's bag this morning and i know it's not for me we don't even do such and what does that prove nothing my baby cannot be without a father. I know that I have made mistakes, okay? But I'm ready to make amends for everything. Um, Francis, how is Mary and the boys? They are doing very well, thank you. Good, good, good. You know, it's going to be such a shame if they get to find out about our baby. Nike, 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 wait. Look, listen. Mary's father owns the chambers I work for. He is highly placed in the country. Do you understand this? Look, don't do anything stupid. Else I'll lose everything. 
Is that what you think? Nikke, I'll take care of you. Anything you want. You and the baby. I promise. Just... Just leave Mary, my children, and my name out of whatever it is that is going on with you right now. It's okay. I mean, it's fine. I'll handle it. But it's our baby. I got it. I will take care of you and our baby. I promise. Okay. That's fine. It's all right. You know what? I'll call you as soon as I get back home. And make sure you take my calls. All right. Bye. Sometimes. Are you alright? Yeah, I've had uh, I've had a long day. And started with uh, with a meeting with my church's lawyers and then I had to go check on a brother in the hospital. Is he alright? He's okay. He was uh, depressed and suicidal. <laughs> I mean God being good, someone was there when he attempted to. He's back at home with his family now. Oh. Look, this country is driving a lot of people mad. I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. You're a good man, George. A good man with a good heart. And people are lucky to have you even if they don't realize it. <laughs> a good man. <laughs> James, I think. I think I want to come out to my wife. Um, why? I just, I just believe it's time. <laughs> you must be kidding, right? No, I'm not. I'm serious. Wait. Do you realize that you're going to lose everything? You're going to lose your church, your home, your freedom. Your wife, she's going to hate you. And then, if she reports you, you go to jail. You must be kidding. Like, look, I, I don't think my wife will be able to get anything I don't want her to get. Anyways. Because she has not been entirely honest with me as well. And you mean? The child my wife is carrying. It's not mine. <laughs> yeah. I'm still right. <laughs> James, <laughs> I I can't have children. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> I promise I'm not laughing at you. I'm just laughing at the whole drama. Do you know the baby's daddy is? Yeah. I think it's David. Right. David. As in, your brother David. Yes. <laughs> Look, I've known for a while, you know. I've known for a while. I just thought, well, I can't give Danny get children, so if she can't have a child by me, she can have a child by my brother. I think I can still call it blood. <laughs> this is this is a crazy drama. It's like a roller coaster. Whew. Which is why 
which is why I think I want to come out too in a dramatic way. Kind of makes sense. So how do you want to do it? I'm going to need to involve you in it, James. You now? Have to do okay. I need you to come to my house and accuse me. Wait, how, how does that even make sense? Le We're going to need the proof and the idea sounds so dumb. Oh yeah. Uh, I, maybe I haven't thought that through. <laughs> there has to be a way. Okay, look, I, I think I got it. How about you come to my house and accuse me of sleeping with your boyfriend, enticing him with my money? George? Mm -hmm. Same idea. Still dumb. No proof. Yeah, I think I've got proof as well. What proof? I'll show you. Let me find it on my phone. Look. George, why do you still have this? Look, I. It doesn't really matter why I have it. At, at least it's coming in handy now, right? Really? No, n no. I don't lie to you and I don't expect you to do the same. We both agreed we we're going to do away with anything that had to do with other men. Sorry. Alright, I'm sorry. <laughs> Look, okay, I think I think I think the explanation that works is that I I had no idea that I still had the, the video on my phone. Uh, I didn't know it was uh, still there. <laughs> I'm sorry. Look, James, I'll make it up to you. But please, you have to help me with this. I'm begging. Okay. Okay. So what do we do now? Okay. I'll tell you.
Don't worry me. Everything will be fine. God must have had a plan for this baby. That's why he called him back home. I know exactly how you feel. Remember, I once got pregnant and I wanted to keep the baby, but I miscarried. And you were there saying this same words to me. What am I going to do with my life now, Yemisi? <laughs> this girl. <laughs> me, I could don't understand what you mean, only care. Ah, what does that mean? Pastor left you this big house, cars, some money in your account. My friend, once you get better, you continue with your life. Hello. Hey, how you doing? I'll just finish some light physical therapy with my sister. Thought I'd give you a call. Please, take it easy with the girl. No, she's not strong, she's fragile. <laughs> fragile. This lady's stronger than a rock, trust me. I'm the one holding back. <laughs> uh, well, so are we still on for tomorrow? Yes, definitely. Uh, Twelve-ish, one, yeah? What? Take care. Well, I'll see you tomorrow then. Take care. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Every single thing. I'm very grateful. You know, I just I just think it is time for me to seek a fresh start. A new beginning of some sort. You do well. I'm pretty confident that the church is in safe hands. Thank you, big bro. Thank you. Please, oh, stay safe in the States, so. I will. Please. I will. Take care, brother. Okay. Drive safe. have samples now let them send yeah. um please doctor yeah hold on please babe are you all right yes i am 